Hey, it's Alex Berman here, and this is what I learned uh, selling to restaurants. Uh, this is my first ever business. Uh, back in college, I wanted to start a menu rewriting business. I saw these uh, these docs on New York Times. It was some some article that said if you change like the wording in a menu uh, in a restaurant menu, you can increase sales by a bunch of money. And I figured that was a good enough thing to uh, to start selling people on. Um, it was actually Neville Medora and the team at AppSumo uh, that ended up giving me the final push. I was into a bunch of that like entrepreneur to entrepreneur stuff that, that Neville and Noah were doing. And I ended up booking a, a call with, uh, with Neville um, and basically talking to him about like what I should be doing. And, and he hyped me up. He was like, you just go into the restaurant tomorrow, like look up uh, the owner and, uh, and, and just go and do it. So here's what worked. This is how I got my first ever sale, how I made my first ever entrepreneurial dollar. So to sell to this restaurant, I went online uh, and I picked a restaurant near my house. It was a pizza restaurant. And I just searched the name of the pizza restaurant. It was like Giovanni's Pizza. Um, and I got their phone number. Then what I did is I called the phone number on the restaurant uh, website. And I asked uh, if the owner was in. Um, first, I looked up the owner's name. It wasn't Giovanni. It was like Tony or something like that. So I was like, hey, is Tony in today? And the person on the other end uh, said, oh, um, no, he's not in right now. He gets in about 4.30. So I knew then uh, when the owner would show up to the restaurant. And basically what I did is I went and pr uh, printed out some stuff and put it in a binder. So I printed out the uh, New York Times article, highlighted the part about how the different wording would uh, increase the sales. That was actually the only thing I did. Um, put that in a binder, went to the pizza restaurant, bought a slice of pizza, sat down um, and started eating the pizza. I saw Tony walk in. You know, um, I knew it was him because uh, everyone was like talking to him. It was very clear he was the owner and I had confirmed that he was going to be there. Um, basically, I walked up to him and I was like, hey, Tony, um, I'd love to talk to you about your your menu when you get a second. And he was very busy at the time. So he just kept working and I just kept uh, sitting there eating the pizza that I was that I bought from him. Um, I probably sat there for like an hour, hour and a half. It feels like forever. And then eventually he came over, I did the pitch, I told him about, um, I was doing menu rewriting, and he's like, oh man, I don't know about this, um, how much is it? And I was like, uh, it's $100, I'll rewrite your whole menu. So I just threw a price out there, and he was like, huh, okay. And I was like, if it doesn't work, I'll refund the money. So he originally was like, yeah, sure, go ahead and do it. Um, and that was a big win for me. But I wanted to push myself further, my, so I asked him if he could give 50% up front as a deposit. And he was really hesitant about it, but after uh, just sitting there in his restaurant for way too long, he eventually did go out to his truck, pull out his checkbook, and write a $50 check. And I put it up on my wall. Um, I had it up on my wall for a while. I'd never even cashed the check because uh, I was so proud. Um, so that is a testament to going out there and hustling. There's no excuse for you not to be you know, making at least one sale. Um, total time invested to make that sale, uh, real time in the real world is probably about two hours, an hour and a half of which was sitting in the restaurant. Psychological time, uh, probably about two years is how long it took me reading business books to get to the point of actually making a sale. Uh, so moral for you is uh, stop wasting time. You know, uh, It's, it's uh, never too early to try and make your first sale. Um, and uh, let me know if you if you have any questions or what you're working on. I'd love to help. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. All right, talk to you later.